All right, just around here today, gonna be installing a new uh, soap hand dispenser. My current unit that I have in now, I'm gonna uninstall. It's looking pretty bad there. And actually, too, if you look at here, the top, the seal was all broken off. The plastic broke off. So I'm gonna take this out. Go ahead and remove this unit here. They're very easy to install. And open up my new package. So, um, you see the problem I'm working with now. So I'm gonna unbox this item here and show you my new soap dispenser that I ordered off Amazon. So here's the unit here. Let's see here. It's a package kind of simple, but it's all we need. All right, comes with a thank you card. It's pretty cool. From Jess. I don't know who Jess is, but maybe the owner of the company. It's pretty cool. Another thank you card here. For registration and for your warranty. And they have a simple installation guide which is just a couple of pieces here actually. You just put this on your tabletop, you put it on the washer on, the lug nut, screw it all the way down, put your pump in, and put, put your pump tube in and your pump, and everything kind of connects to the bottle at the bottom. It's pretty simple. Like I said, it's gonna be three or four steps here. You're only five steps, pretty simple. And here we go. So the bottle's a little bit bigger than the one I had before, which is pretty cool. So it's gonna hold more soap. The material's not as, as dirty as the one I bought from Lowe's, but it still works. It's gonna be underneath your cabinet, so you're not gonna see it anyway. Here's your tubing and your straw for it. I'm gonna get it out without breaking. There we go. Here's your straw. Regular straw, nothing special about it. All right, and here's the part I want to see if the main unit deals the same way as my old one. Okay, so this unit here, I here bought on Amazon. I paid about eight, nine bucks for it. The one about for Lowe's cost about 20, and I'll do a quick comparison of the two. This is definitely lighter weight. Feels like a little bit cheaper material. Um, and it's plastic instead of metal. Now what I may be able to do is use my other old parts on this one, so that I can give it a more sturdy appeal. But overall, for the price I paid for it, it looks pretty good. Let's go over to the kitchen sink so we can get this thing installed. All right, so I just want to do a side-by-side -side comparison. Here's the older model hood that I bought from Lowe's. The newer models on the right hand side here if you look at the bottle comparison this is a thicker plastic more sturdy this is a little bit thinner like i said but it holds more it's going to be underneath your sink so i don't think it makes a difference for the straws that they're both about the same as straws and straw no worries there the head unit the older models pretty much a little bit heavier if you do the new the new model a little bit thinner pieces, a little bit thinner weight. The one part I'm really concerned with is the threading part. This is really all metal, whereas this one comes here is all plastic. So only concern there, like I said, I paid half the price for this new one off Amazon. I paid for my old one from Lowe's. So I might try to reuse that threading here to install my new one. I'll see how that goes. If, I'm, if I can get it to work, that'd be great. Just wanna show you how much soap this thing can hold. So this is pretty much almost empty. Um, I took most of the soap out. It was full when I started. This one here was is empty. This one here is only about halfway full, so it probably holds about double the amount of soap. Less the times you have to refill it, which is great. Um, I tried to use the plastic parts, tried to use the metal parts on the plastic one. It did not work, so I'm going to have to just get rid of all this. So I'm going to push this to the side now, and just focus on this here. And for your first step, you got two washers, two plastic washers here. What you want to do is just take this thread off here on this one and take one of the washers off and I'll show you. So there you go, you want the washer and the thread and then take your holding unit here and you want to stick it right into the hole here like this. Make sure it's down pretty tight and then what we do is go underneath the sink here and make sure you put a washer first and then put this plastic thread on and then tighten it all the way up into uh tighten down the main unit here we'll do that now all right so that one at the bottom it's kind of like playing it's almost like playing like a little toy game you got to keep just twisted and spinning it make sure you don't over tighten this seat on this unit here because um it's plastic so it will break so next thing we want to do is take our soap bottle here and what i'll do is i go ahead and build this up all the way since I already have it down, you can use it or soap you want. I'm using. I think this thing came from Walmart. 
milk and honey. Yeah. Sure. I think it's okay. It was on sale for a dollar cheaper than the regular one, so I bought it. Don't judge me. So we're gonna fill that up. But you don't you don't want to fill it all the way up to the top because you're gonna be sticking that straw in there. And you want to give it a little bit of room for the straw to get in without soap going everywhere. Alright, so I did it about 90%. Close that up. Now I'm gonna do is go back on the bottom here and just screw this. Be right back. Alright. Now that's alright, that's screwed in now. So it's really easy to remember, make sure you don't over tighten this because these parts are plastic and they will snap quickly. All right, so the next step is to, the way I just filled it up, you don't have to do that way. You can actually fill it up from here once you put the bottle on. And that's probably an easier bet. Sorry, I did it the wrong way. But um, that way you don't have to worry about filling it up. You can just take your soap and pour it in the hole here. And that fills it up as well. All right, next step we want to do is put our last piece together. We're going to insert our straw into the pump. And then just take the pump here, stick it in the hole, lower it down and voila there we go we have it installed let's give it a test run a couple of free pumps pump, pump it up there we go and soap's starting to dispense so there you go very easy setup probably took me two to three five minutes maybe total from getting up and down under my counter um real easy directions real easy directions to follow like i said i'll post, I'll post a link to the product below um and once again, this is Jess Ron. Thanks so much for watching. Me open, unbox, and install my new pump. I can't wait to use it. And RIP to the old unit. The last three years, made out of really good material. Tube here started to crack. I don't know why. Maybe I over tighten it. There we go. She's ready to go now. Jess Ron signing out. Take care.